Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft Edge Drop is a feature that has been available in the preview versions of Edge for quite some time and as recently as I did post earlier today, uh, rolled out to the stable version of um, Microsoft Edge version 110 and to some extent has a couple of the features available now over in the stable version. Now Edge Drop, just to do a quick recap, lets you send files and notes and so on and screen captures using OneDrive um, between Microsoft Edge on your different devices if you are signed in with the same Microsoft account. Now um, just a quick video to highlight two changes that Microsoft has made in Edge Canary, the preview version which rolled out recently. And that's in Edge Canary version 112, which may be on their way to an up and coming stable version. Now, as I have posted previously, Edge Drop in uh, the preview versions has a screenshot tool. So if you click on that, you are able to capture part of your screen or a web page. And then you get editing options underneath. Some of them very similar to what you get in the good old Paint Legacy app. And you are able to just um, edit those um, that screen capture using the screenshot toolbar and in the drop feature. Now, um, recently in Edge Canary 112, Microsoft now has rolled out the um, screenshot from Edge Drop and placed that now in the toolbar as a quick action uh, button, which now, if you click on that, you can use the same tool as a quick shortcut now from the actual toolbar and you don't have to head over to the actual drop feature which is available in the sidebar in Edge Canary and if we head to the menu you will also see that the screenshot tool is also available um, in that um, actual uh, the main menu of the browser as an entry and so that's just another way you can ac access that tool and if we just head over quickly to the appearance page and we scroll down yeah you'll see that we actually get that screenshot uh, button. So it's available as a option to toggle on and toggle off. So um, if you want to turn it on, just toggle it on and you'll see it will appear now uh, in the toolbar as a quick shortcut for taking screenshots with Edge Drop. Now that's the first new feature that Microsoft is testing in Edge Canary. And the second now is that um, the Web Capture and the Web Select tools now have a unified UR. So they've been unified into one UR. So if we just head over to the stable version, just to show you what this is all about. Currently in the stable version, the web capture and the web select are two different uh, shortcut buttons in the toolbar. Now if we head back to Edge Canary, you can see now that it's been unified into the web capture tool. So yeah, you'll see you can capture an area using web capture. Um, you can capture your full page and here's the web select it's been unified now into um, the same UR now as web capture so obviously um, the, the two tools are very similar so obviously Microsoft trying to just um, declutter the toolbar a little bit and unify those the web capture and the um, web select into one tool so those are just a couple of changes all actually to do with screenshots um, the screenshot tool for edge drop and then unifying web capture and web select into one unified experience all being tested now in Edge Canary version 112. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.